never make a doll. Ever. It all started about two weeks ago. I was working on a doll factory, as usual, clothing and repairing new and old dolls. I would occasionally help shape the dolls and make them more beautiful. Perfect, even. But then she showed up. She was standing in front of me, golden hair, red hairband, blue and white dress, beautiful like the dolls. She whispered in my ear in the most sickening voice I have ever heard. I'll see you in doll court, and ran off. Whatever, crazy. But as I said that the dolls did something strange, they sprang off the conveyor belt one by one and started tying me up tighter and tighter until I could barely breathe. I struggled, but that only made them angrier and more vicious, lavishing at me with whips of divine light. Oh, that whip, the lashes, it was all so painful. The lashes were huge and swelled up, spewing out blood onto my arms and the rope. I struggled more, more lashes and blood. Finally, weak from air deprivation and pain, I refused to struggle anymore. The dolls dragged me into a court-like room. Dolls everywhere, all staring, their eyes piercing into me. As staring at my soul, my le- my lead doll said in a phonic-like voice, "We brought the one you requested, Mistress Margaret." She stared at the doll, looking sad, with those shiny blue eyes. Excellent. Now sit. The court shall begin in a short time. The doll sat down, giving me the dirtiest of looks. The girl walked up to me and said, "Ah,、oh, Kyle, how nice of you to join us. Do you know why you are here?" I looked at her in pain and fear and said, "No, ma'am. Why am I here? What is this place? Who are you?" She grinned an evil grin and said, "I am Alice Magatroyd." Leader of the dolls and their persecutor. This is the doll court, a sacred place for persecutions of people and dolls. You are here because of the way you make dolls. They are not perfect, not like me. I look at the dolls and notice all of them. They each have a feature of her. Japanese doll with her golden hair, an Asian doll with her blue eyes, an American doll with her blue lace dress. Let's get down to business, shall we? She said as she went and sat in her chair. So Kyle, you make dolls. Am I correct? I sit up and say yes, ma'am. She got out a pad of paper and said, "Very well, that's good." Do you make them like me? I hopped over to a chair and said, "No, because I didn't know what you look like until now." She wrote more stuff down on her pad and said, "Okay." And why is it? I settled myself into the chair, trying to decipher what was going on. Because you never showed up until now. She threw a golden orb at me and yelled, "Unacceptable! You should not. You must make dolls like me. You are worthless disgrace to the doll makers. I sentenced you to a slow, painful, and horribly gruesome death." The dolls got up and walked over to me. They hastily brought out whips and pulled me to a secret room. They took turns whipping me with divine light and glowing orbs. The blood in my body started pouring out, each hit glowing in pain and less blood I had. After about five minutes, they dragged out knives and stabbed my heart. My body shrunk into 
from blood loss. And they continued to stab my heart as well as my brain in about two minutes. I only had a pint of blood left. I groaned and whined. Then the head doll got up, pulled out a katana, and stabbed me with it. I let out one final breath and died. Trust me, you do not want to go to doll court. <laughs>